welcome back. So today I am going to be decorating for spring. I'm going to focus on the living room. Um, just get this place revamped. I went over to Ross and I picked up some stuff. I'm going to do a haul in a second and I also need to clean the space. Before we get started, if you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you do so. That would be so, so awesome. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're always notified whenever I upload a video. Now with that being said, we're going to start off with the home decor haul. I have all of the items I plan to use in the space right here. I decided to go with pink. I didn't know if I wanted to do another pop of color because you guys know I love navy blue and that's pretty much my pop of color around the house but with it being spring I decided you know what let me play with another color I was debating on yellow purple and I just decided to go with pink I have these pillows here really love the velvet and just the look of them really nice set of two for $15.99 and then I have this really nice throw blanket it is $9.99 and I really love the design on this. And then I have these picks here. Not really sure if I'm going to use them in this space. I might just go ahead and put them in the kitchen. But I thought they were really cute. And it's $9.99. $14.99 for this one. I thought this was super cute. They also have this with like the gold frame. But I feel like I have enough gold in the space. So I just wanted to bring in something else. And then I have this really beautiful vase. I love the gold on the top. It is only $8.99, so that's a really good price for such a nice vase. And then I just picked up some flowers. I suck at keeping real flowers alive, so I don't mind doing the artificial ones. And they are $5.99. And then I have these candle holders, really nice, $10.99. But you could use these as vases. Just put some flowers inside, and I think it'll make a really cute vase. That's really cute, but yeah, I think I'm going to use these as candle holders because I do have some slim candles, like tall slim candles that I can use inside, but we'll see when I start decorating. And then I have this decor here. I love how the succulents hang, and I just love that marble look, and it's only $8.99, so I picked up two. And the last thing I have are these coasters, really glam and it is $3.99. So this is everything I have from Ross for this spring revamp. I might add more stuff or take away, don't know yet, but I'm just gonna start playing around with it. And this is the space. I just need to wipe down my surfaces and you know, fix my pillows, and then I'll start decorating for spring. We're soaring up high, got no clue. How do I know what I mean to you? Yeah. Say it out loud, spill the truth. Tell me how I'm gonna get close to you. Yeah. High and low. So my plan when I first started recording this video was to just tidy up the space and decorate, but I noticed crumbs on the sofa, and more than likely they're gonna be crumbs underneath the cushion, and I was right, so I definitely had to tackle that. You're gonna see me move the sofa so I can vacuum behind it, and that's not something I always do, but it's been a minute since doing it, so I decided to just take care of it in this video, and also wiping down the TV screen. You're gonna see me doing that as well. I don't do it every single time, but there were a lot of smudges on the screen, so I had to just go ahead and tackle it. Normally, I'll just change my clothes when I'm going to be doing more than just tidying up a space. I'll put on something more comfortable, some sweats and a t-shirt or something, but I decided not to because I was just being lazy and I didn't feel like switching out my clothes. But the living room wasn't that bad. It's not like I had to do a deep cleaning, but I did have to tackle some of these areas that I've been neglecting. Acting out, make it seem Working on our body language, working on our body language Baby, now tell me exactly how you feel I'm just trying to keep it real Let me love you on the inside, love you on the inside Tell me exactly what you mean, you mean everything to me Let me love you on the inside Yeah. 
So my coffee table is one of my favorite pieces in the house. I love the glass top with the antique mirrored bottom. I just love mirrored furniture, period. But it's definitely not forgiving, especially when it comes down to smudges. My kids, they like to play around the coffee table with their toys and just they're always getting their fingerprints on the table. So I do have to wipe it often. But I do need to pay more attention to the bottom part of the coffee table because there was a lot of dust built up on it. I always come and wipe off the top because, you know, that's where you see the fingerprints but I tend to neglect the bottom so I do need to pay more attention to that because it was so dirty I'd encourage you to make me stay, but baby, I'm just trying to numb my brain and wrap my head around this whole thing. When you're kissing my neck and grabbing my leg, pushing me backwards into your bed. So I am done with the space and I decided not to use the pink pillows and the throw that like pink and white throw because I just wasn't feeling it. I did go back to Ross and um, I found this throw here and I really love it. Love the fringe at the bottom and just the texture on it. And I came across this pillow too. I thought this was super cute. Still bringing in some pink and just spring vibes. And I switched out the plants over here, just put some flowers instead in this super cute candle holder. Found that at Ross. And then I added these pillows here. Love the fringe. I believe these are from Home Goods. I definitely wanted to keep my zigzag pillows because I love those. And I didn't make any changes over here. And then here I just have the decor that I found at Ross. And I put it on this tray. And with the coffee table, I just switched out some things. I was going to just do books and maybe the plant. But I really love the setup with the tray here and my coasters, this decor, crystal decor. I really love that. So I decided to just keep it the same and just switch out some of the decor. So I have the flowers here and the vase that I found at Ross. So nice. This bunny is from Ross as well. And I didn't make any changes, you know, at the bottom. Just 
used the bowl. I do have a video on this space. So if you want to know where like the rest of this stuff is from, you can check the video. I'll put a card at the top and I will also link it in the description box. And I also have links for like all of these pieces. Um, coffee table, credenza, you could just check the description box for that. And then over here I decided to add some candlesticks to the credenza. Um, I didn't want to fill it with decor because I still don't want it to look cluttered with the bookcase being right here and that is full of decor. So I felt like the candlesticks was enough. I like it. And did I say they're from Ross? I think so. But if not, then yeah, both items are from Ross. And over here on the bookcase, I just added most of the decor that I found at Ross. So this here that there and the bunny that is from Ross as well and I put candles inside of the candle holders and then I put those flowers inside of this box so that's it guys this is all I decided to do for my spring refresh not a lot but I did you know switch out some of the decor and I added more flowers so it gives me spring vibes without looking like I did too much and I like it. I really wanted to add the pink, but when I put it in here, I just, I didn't like it. And plus I have pink in the flowers, so that's good enough. And I have some pink in this accent pillow, but it's not a big pillow, so it's not that distracting. The pink with the navy blue and then the black and white and my mixed metals, it started to look tacky. So I decided to just incorporate the pink with the flowers and it still gives me spring vibes, but Yep, that is it for this video. Like I said, if you want to know where anything is from, check the description box or you can comment. If you don't see it in the description box, you can leave me a comment asking me where it's from and I will link it for you. But I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you do so. That'd be so, so awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Uh, US citizens returning from Europe um, besides the UK, will undergo a 14-day quarantine. Maybe that had been mentioned before, but I think the president sort of clarified that a little bit.